you think? Good. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning, January 23rd, 2019, and I'm headed into work for the day. This, I don't know if you guys can see it, is what I'm dealing with. It's just absolutely nasty out. So it's probably almost worse than it was yesterday. Today, we got um, slushy. It's snowing the closer I get up by my work. Um, by my house, it was raining further south. And it's still warm out. It's like 31, 32 degrees. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so today is Wednesday. Nikki is going to be coming over tonight. And I don't know what we're doing for dinner. But we got to work on all kinds of stuff. So I got to show her the whole process of running the printers, running the computer. Um, we're going to set up the new 10 foot by 30 foot wide backdrop, steam it once, um, and then we're going to, I got to test out my tether cable, I hope that works, I should have tested that a lot sooner. It's basically a 15 foot USB cord or cable, that's all it is. Um, and I don't know what else, but I got to get everything tested out, so it's going to be a crazy, crazy day. Or evening she's gonna give me a haircut I got a buzzer thing she's just gonna buzz me and I don't know so top of that I gotta get the house picked up and cleaned up this week so tomorrow I'm working late potentially all the way until maybe 9 p.m. and I'm just not uh, just want to get through this week so Saturday is the actual gig I think we're on the clock from 5 to 9 p.m. I believe on Saturday um, after then, you know, we'll probably get there early, maybe a couple hours early to set up. And then, I don't know, we'll probably leave or start packing up either right at 9 or if we run out of prints. So they're going to be doing 2,000 prints. Um, purple rain! Somebody said prints. Uh, yesterday I finished the first pass, basic edits, on the um, wedding that we did the longest ago. Uh, we still have one more. Right now we have two weddings outstanding and a newborn session. So Luke said he had been working on the newborn's photos yesterday. But uh, that other wedding, the second wedding, was the New Year's Eve wedding. And it was like a smaller one or whatever. So we should be able to edit that and get that kind of finished up relatively quickly. Um, so today's Wednesday. I gotta do, I gotta work on this big project at work. I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and I, I don't know, I gotta just make something happen. So today I also want to deliver those um, photos for Nikki's friend. Her name is Michelle. She has a business and a website or something that she's setting up. Um, I'm trying to think what else is going on, but it's, it's been uh, a slow drive, man. It's already 8.25. And I still got probably at least 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. So I'm getting to work late, but I'm getting to work. So fuck them. Um, it's just nasty. So I woke up super late today. So I was like snoozing my alarm. And my alarm on these Android phones has, um, it has a finite number of snoozes that you can do. And then it just shuts off. So yeah, that was the problem. So my alarm sh got shut off. And it was about 6.45 when I woke up. Nikki uh, messaged me or was messaging me. She's like, is everything all right? And I just like woke up out of like my dead sleep. I was in some dreams and everything. I was like, oh shit. And I uh, just started running, running and gunning. Speaking of that, I started on my lunch breaks watching the new, uh, the new season of The Punisher on Netflix. It's got the guy, I don't know his name, but he played Shane in The Walking Dead. Uh, that guy, he's the Punisher, Frank Castle, or Pete Castigli Castiglione. And it's a really good series, I like it. It's a guy's show for sure. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that. Um, but uh, I don't know, just going to... Um, 
try to get into work here and get some stuff done today. So I gotta upload those files to my proofing website for Michelle, get her email, and then I can mail them over to her. Email her the uh, gallery that she can use to download them or whatever. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Hey, what's happening? It's a little bit colder out now. It was like 32, 31 when I was driving into work and I'm just leaving work and it's now 21 degrees. Um, just trying to get the car to warm up. I'm freezing my ass off. Uh, so over my lunch break, I finished season two on Netflix of The Punisher. Pretty good series, man. I really like it. I really enjoy it. I don't know if there'll be any more. The way they kind of left it or whatever, they kind of tied up all the loose ends and there wasn't much left. So, uh, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see if they uh, come out with more or whatever. They might wait a bunch of years or something for the writers to catch up and come up with something good. So, um, <clears throat> it was earlier this month that I got a couple email alerts or notifications saying that a couple of my um, URL or domain names were, were set to renew. These are domain names that I registered initially in January of 2018. I had an idea, and I'm not going to say what uh, the domain names are because it's, it'll be pretty obvious once I um, uh, tell you what the domain name is. But uh, it's been a whole year, and it just renewed again, and I was like, you know what, I really want to get on that. Um, so, as a building block towards achieving that goal, I want to learn how to create my own app. Uh, I have an Android phone, so it would most likely either be an Android app or something, but <clears throat> this is one of my goals. And this would be, like I said, a building block as like a first step towards ultimately um, building out a website app combo that works together to uh, kind of uh, it works in tandem I guess you could say so this has just been something that I've been thinking about for a long time now every year or so I, I do another like quick search and kind of just poke around and look and see if there's like any other uh, any new tools out that are out for uh, building things or creating or whatever because like I, I don't know if my idea is even gonna work and without knowing um, I, I don't know like what to do like I don't, I don't want to pay people like an exorbitant amount of cash to come up with something and then it fails or it's a flop or whatever so I kind of want to test it out or at least try it out and essentially go from there so I just I, I, like I said I don't know if it would be a, if it would take off or not it's a seasonal it's a seasonal idea um, so this is something that uh, that I'm working on um, but I came across today is Google has what I did today was I did a search looking for um, I, I did a search something along the lines of Android app that that connects to a website or something or website that is uh, driven from an Android app or something like that and you know, I got a bunch of hits and stuff, and people were asking questions like, oh, how do I accomplish this, or do this, or do that? And there was all kinds of, you know, generic answers and stuff, and somebody's like, oh, just use uh, Google's Fire, uh, what was it, Firebase for that. You know, they have a lot of services and features, and I was like, what's what's Google's Firebase? So I looked that up, and it's, a, it's an entire suite designed for deploying um, apps and, and web services and stuff rapidly, and it actually is free to try out or test out. And then it's scalable to the point where like if it takes off or you need more, then you can pay for it or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. So I uh, I looked up a couple tutorials on like how to do like a, like a test or a, like an example uh, app. And the one tutorial that I came across was a joke app. So I guess it's an app on your phone and you use Google services to authenticate. So you create an account and all that. And then you can submit, view and store um, jokes or something like that. So, but it uses Google's 
um, I guess you could call it like Firebase or, or fi Firebase in the aspect of like database. Um, but it uses their services to essentially store the, your data online from like the user's uh, devices or whatever. And, but then it, like I said, it also retrieves or pulls it up um, locally. So yeah, I am just like, oh, okay, well that might be a, a start. So I just, I feel like I got a lot on my plate. You know, I, I you know, last year it was all about learning how to do uh, painting or drawing. Um, I did the watercolor paintings and all that. You know, I want to say I'm done with it, but uh, I guess I'm done with it. I don't know. I don't know any other way to it just, it, for some reason I had a creative spark that uh, I hadn't experienced in many, many years with everything that's been going on. And that uh, filled that at the time. Um, but with trying to learn a new role at work and do this huge project at work where we're doing our uh, inventory of the entire uh, data center and then shooting gigs and all that, I was like, oh, why not try to create an Android app from scratch by myself? Uh, so I don't know how this will work. I'm going to try to follow one of these tutorials. I hope it's all spelled out or laid out to uh, get me up and running and, and at least... Uh, complete the tutorial, you know, the example app, but we'll see, I have no clue. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is, but I just, I found out that uh, I can't rely on others to be happy, and, you know, I, I don't want to sit there and blame others for my um, shortcomings in terms of achieving my goals. Um, what it comes down to or boils down to at the end of the day is these are my goals. These are things that I want to do. And I can't expect other people to not only understand that, but participate in that. So I need to basically let them do what they want to do, and I'm going to have to do what I got to do. So um, There'll be more on that to come. I mean, you guys saw how... Uh, what was it? 2017 was crypto. 2018 was the fall of crypto and kind of paying off all my debts, you know, learning to stand again, I guess you could say. Uh, I got my new car in 2018. Um, cashed out all my crypto and kind of moved on from that. And like I mentioned before, I got my creative spark back. And... That was 2018. 2019, it's going to be more of, I don't know, I guess just, I guess finding myself again. So I, I've talked about it, but I want to do more traveling. I want to um, be financially free this year. Uh, that's yet to be seen, but... Uh, it is what it is. I mean, I, I gotta, I gotta keep moving, keep moving. Just keep swimming. So, um. Headed home. I'm gonna stop at the movie store on the way home, drop off this rental game. I'm gonna stop at Home Depot, pick up some solder. Maybe even stop at my storage locker and pick up some soldering or my soldering iron. Um, that is so I can solder on the leads for my uh, remote control car. So that uh, I hope I can get that thing up and running, man. That's what it comes down to. So I bought a new motor. I gotta install it, mount it, whatever, but uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see if this works. Um, so I spent quite a bit of money on all those pieces and parts, and what it comes down to is I just gotta try to try to fix it and see. So it's easier to work on a remote control car at the table in the in the warm kitchen 
than uh, my daily driver in the cold garage. So I look at it that way. Um, gotta figure out what the deal is with uh, Aurora Sportsman's Club, so ASC. Um, they want like something like $500 or something for my renewal fees. And I just, I don't know. I really like the club. I like going there and all that. But you add on top of that the cost of actually going to shoot, like buying the ammo and all that. And it's a lot of money, man. It, it, it just really is. So I don't know. I don't know if I can uh, figure this out or not. But I don't have much more time before my renewal fees are due. So I think I got like maybe one more month. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm tired, fucking run down, I woke up so late this morning and stuff, and just not really in a good mood, and Nikki's not going to be able to spend the night tonight for various reasons, and it just, it's just, I don't understand it, I don't understand it at all, stay tuned for more.